Look at that group. Wow. On the head. Right on. Howdy, I'm Rongbo. Welcome back to Area 51 in Arizona. Aliens are gone, but I'm still here. And I have got one of my favorite 22 rifles ever to show you. Am I excited? You bet. Look at this beauty. This is a Browning SA-22, 22 rimfire. Have you ever seen one before? It's old. The design is by John Browning himself, the original John Browning. He came out with this in 1914. Holy cow, that's a long time ago. This gun design's older than me. It went to Fabric National FN. They built the original and marketed it in Europe. It was a success. Browning couldn't get anybody in the United States until 1922, where Remington made this gun known as the Speedmaster. In 1956, Browning had FN import them in the United States. If you could get one of those FN SA-22s, it's worth a lot. In 1976, Japan, Maruko started making these guns, and that's where this gun came from. This is a Japanese gun, very high quality. I love it. I'm going to flip it over and show you the other side briefly. Show you that it's empty, by the way. It's cleared. Nothing in the chamber. Very unique design. 1914. Most 22s were single shot back then. Not this. Browning thought about making a semi-automatic gun way back then. The famous Winchester pump rifles used in galleries were the popular guns, but Browning decided to make one that was reliable and is reliable today to compete with it. Most 22s were lever action or pump. They had a magazine under the barrel. You pumped it, you flipped the lever, and around went backwards and forwards into the uh, chamber. Browning looked at that and said, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put my magazine in the stock. That's how you load it, folks, through that hole in the stock. So the rounds are facing forward. I'll pick up a round. They're all facing forward like that, 10 in a row, and they go straight into that chamber. What a great idea. 1914, all of the guns, the Stevens favorites, the 44 and a half, the uh, Winchester pump guns, they were all take down. What's that? Well, it's something they're just coming around again today with some of the modern Rugers. 1914, this gun could come apart. There's a small switch here. Push it forward, pull the bolt back, and turn it. Half a turn. A little stiff coming out. There you go. It's in two parts. Notice the interrupted thread. You don't have to turn this 20 times to get it out. The interrupted thread allows me to turn it a quarter turn and pull it out. Now you've got a gun that'll fit, oh, my arm's in the way. That'll fit in your backpack. That'll fit in your motorcycle going out over the mountains. What a great idea. Let's see if I can remember how to put it back together. Turn it, pull the bolt back, catch the threads, turn it, bolts forward, magazine catches rear, or the uh, bolt catches back to the rear. Cross bolt safety, set up for a right hand person right now. This gun comes in uh, oh, six different grades. Some of the more expensive guns have gold engraving here. Now, notice there's no ejection port. Well, where do the empties go? Right out through the bolt release. The bolt goes back and forth and knocks the empties out straight down. So you've got all of this cool engraving that you can opt for if you have the money and have it gold engraved. There's a little bit of gold engraved here with a browning symbol on the trigger guard. Kind of cool. The uh, American Walnut stock is uh, glossy coated, holds up well. Do you believe this is used? This is a certified used gun from guns.com. Amazing what you can find. Take a look there, they're available sometimes. Take a look at the sights real quick for me before we do some shooting. They fold down when you're stored and up when you're ready to fire. You put the front sight bead in that notch in the rear. Pretty simple. Notice there's two screws here. You can knock off this rear sight, drift it off, and replace this with a scope mount. So the scope will mount on the barrel and retain it zero. You can shoot with a scope. Pretty cool. 
Today we're going to use iron sights, open sights, and we're going to shoot some uh, two liter jugs, pop cans, and targets today. So let's load it. Let's see how you load a Browning SA-22. Point the muzzle down. We're going to take this half turn and pull it back till it stops. And we'll try loading some uh, various ammo. We've got some uh, 22 Thunderbolts by Remington. We'll try those first. They're just lead bullets. Nothing's fancy about them. Gravity just loads this gun right up. And it can be us a little slow to load. There's no uh, magazine clip to load in place. It's not even a revolver. But once it's loaded, it'll fire 10 shots as fast as that can pull the trigger. Load, push the magazine tube in and turn it. It's locked in place. Now let's load around. Zoom in on this bolt. I'm going to pull it back with my ugly finger. And you can see there's the first round that will be going into the mag or into the chamber. There it is, it's in the chamber. Cross bolt safety's on so the gun won't fire. It's got about a three to three and a half pound trigger, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, we've got all kinds of targets of opportunity here today, folks. Good cowboy in his rifle though, no problem. I'm gonna sight in on that paper target, see if we can put a few in there in the center. On the steel. Look at that group. Wow. On the head. Right on. How about that long milk ball target out there? Ding. 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 That's probably 30 yards. Amazing. Oh, there's a pop can right in front of me here. Do I have any ammo left? No, I don't. Oh, we've got a hang up there. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, that was my last round. Last round just hung up. Let's reload. Let's reload. Take a minute to reload. I'll be right back. Here we are, back and reloaded. I just loaded up 10 rounds of CCI Stingers. Hollow point, high velocity, lightweight little bullets that are going to blow up some two liter jugs and pop cans. I tried to load 11 a minute ago, it wouldn't work. I couldn't get the uh, magazine to close. So it lets you know if you've got more than 10 in there. All right, once again, we're gonna load. There's that CCI Stinger. And it's going right in that chamber. Safety. All right. Oh, targets of opportunity. There's a nice jug there on the right, down low. Here we go, I gotta put the sight up, that helps. Oh yeah, I knew that stinger would do it. All right, we got a sniper up on top of the boulder. Oh yes, it just blew it right apart. Stingers, hey, if I had to use this for self-defense, a stinger would be a good round to carry. Got a little pop can there right in the middle. Yeah, not anymore, here's another one. Woohoo! stingers, yeah, they sting. How about that big jug there right on the left? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two of them. There's one pop can hiding out on the right. Oh, not anymore. Gone. Oh, how many rounds do we have left here? Let's see. On the head. Not bad. Light little handy rifle. Five pounds. You could pack this along and go hunt rabbits all day long. I'm going to load it one more time. And we'll try a mag dump. Be right back. All right, we're all loaded up. We're going to try a different, different type of ammo. This is CCI clean ammo. You ever loaded lipstick bullets? These are their little polymer coated red bullets. Aren't they cute? Just solid red. So we're going to try as many different rounds as we can through this Browning uh, semi-auto and see if it'll jam on us. Okay, loaded. Safety's off. We're going to do a mag dump on that steel. Here we go. Yeah, 10 shots faster than you can say Jack Robinson. What a gun. I love this rifle. Nice and light, taking hunting, taking shooting, shooting pop cans with it. That's all you have to do. Really enjoyed showing it to you today. Can't think of anything else to say. Check out guns.com where guns like this are available. You might find a used one like this. Doesn't look used to me, but hey, it was cool. And get out there and go shooting, folks. It's 
fun. Watch your muzzle, be safe. Thanks for coming to Area 51 in Arizona. I'm Ron Bo, signing off.